it's Andy from White Lace Cottage. So today I wanted to talk about curtains and I found these curtains at the thrift store for $4.99 a panel. I had to get six panels, so 30 bucks for all of her curtains. You can't see it in view right now, but I have, she has another small window, has the same curtains on there. But, so I had to hang the rod up a little bit higher because they were too low, but they're still way too long for me. And I don't sew, but I have a really great solution for this. So I'm gonna take the panels. I need to figure out how, well, like what length I want them at. And by doing that, I'm gonna have to, I'm just gonna get some pins. I'm totally gonna eyeball this, by the way. And I'm gonna see what visually looks better. So I'm probably gonna go up like a good, probably five or six inches at least, maybe even more than that. Um, I'm probably gonna take about that much off. So to do that, what I'm going to do, like I said, is I'm going to pin it up and figure out how, you know, what looks best. I'm going to pin it up, look at it visually against the other window too, and see how that looks. Pin it. Then I'm going to tell you how easy it is to hem curtains, even though you don't sew. And I'm not using glue either, and I'm not stapling it either, and I'm not using Velcro. I'll show you what I'm going to use in a little bit, okay? So let me start getting the pins out, and I'm going to start pinning and then I'll show you how easy this is and what we're going to do. Okay, so I eyeballed it and I, you know, decided where I wanted my length of my curtains. And so I pinned it. I pinned it on two sides. Um, I pinned it on the, the bottom part and I pinned it also here at the top. The reason that I did that, you can see that in here. Okay, so the reason that I did that is because I'm actually going to take these pins off now. I, this was the first place that I pinned it. It was just easier for me to do it that way, and then I pinned it underneath. I'm going to take these pins off here, and then I need to cut some of this off, and then I'm still going to have my guide down here with the pins at the bottom. And the tabs are all the way at the top here. So once I cut it, then I'm going to take my little secret weapon heat and bond and I'm going to apply that on my fabric, fold it over and iron it on. But you'll see the process as I'm doing it. I just kind of wanted to explain before I started doing it what I'm doing because I'm not going to, I mean I talk the whole time I'm doing it, but just so you can kind of see what I'm doing. So I'm going to get started on cutting it next. So what you're going to want to do is you want to take your heat and bond and you're going to put it on your piece that you want it to be adhered to and the paper side should be up. Just follow the directions on the package. But. And then you take your iron and you start applying heat on that piece and you just hold it there for a little bit and just kind of do that on your whole piece, okay? You don't hold it there too long, it's at two seconds. And just hold the other end as you're doing this so it doesn't move around. And just keep moving it along and pressing your iron down. I'm going to go back over this again. just want to get most of this in place. Ooh, it's hot. Hot, hot, hot. Okay. Then we're going to take it and it should peel. You can see that it did. I can see, I don't know if you can see it, but you'll, when you peel the paper off, you're going to see a film left on there. It kind of looks like clear tape. And you just peel this off. Okay. Then I'm going to go back and I'm going to apply right on top there where I want it to be adhered to. take your iron and we're just gonna 
fold that on there and I'm gonna after I do it on this side I'm gonna flip it over to the other side too. Oops, one of my pins came off, but that's okay. Now make sure that whatever material that you're working on that you can use an iron on it too. I years ago melted something because I was using an iron on polyester. Duh. That's all I can say about that. Duh. So make sure that you can iron, you know, the piece that you're working on. Now I'm going to flip this over. And I'm going to iron it again. Get a nice, even crease here. firm and just kind of go over it again. And that's all there is to it. Very, 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 very simple to do. So that's it. So all I have to do is hang these curtains up after I finish the rest of them. Okay, so you can see that the curtains are done now. I've hemmed them up. I think they look much better than how they were before. They're way, way, way too long. I still have to do the other curtain, so I'm not gonna reveal that side yet until I finish the room, because right now the room is a hot mess. I had to rearrange furniture so I could iron in here so I could do this project in this room, but um, I think it looks really, really awesome. I'm so excited about it, and they were from the thrift shop, and these curtains, are the reason that I'm doing the colors in this room that I am. So I have lots, lots more to share, share with you. I cannot wait for you to see the rest of it. So next time, um, I think we'll be doing the lamps or the furniture. I'm not sure what, I, what I'm going to get to next, but you're not going to want to miss the, the next episode either. So I will see you really soon. Thank you so much for joining me and make sure that you follow me on the blog at whitelacecottage.com. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest. Those are all going to be below with links, so please make sure that you follow along as well. Thanks so much. I'll see you soon.